Hey folks, Ray, DCRamerica.com here, and I am out today for another wind test, this time with the DJI Mavic Mini. Now, I've seen a few wind tests so far posted online, but let's be honest, we need to do a wind test. Uh, you may have saw my Mavic Air 2 wind test back a couple weeks ago, and everyone kept on saying, well, what about the Mavic Mini? Surely it can't handle that. We're going to find out today. Oh, hey, and a quick note ahead of time, uh, it's possible that it may be hard to hear me, obviously, sorry about that. Uh, and if so, also the camera may get a bit fuzzy, not from this one up in the air, but that one there uh, because of the water spray. So no worries, let's just get cooking. So here is the Mavic Mini. The wind speeds right now are between 24 and 32 miles per hour, measured both at the end of the pier right there, as well as at the end of the pier uh, behind me. So two ends, I guess the beginning and the end of the pier. And we're gonna just simply get this up in the air and give it a whirl and hopefully not lose the drone. That's the goal here. Um, so here we go. Okay, take off permitted and up we go. So not too bad so far. Pulling it back. Uh, now, right now, it's struggling a little bit, but I'm gonna get it back here, bring it down a little bit, and we're just barely holding on. I'm in regular P mode right now, so no issues. But you can see now it's drifting away. Now we're starting to lose it. It's not going the direction I want, so I'm gonna switch back to sport mode or into sport mode. Uh, and the reason for that comes down to specs. So, this drone, see if it can stay here put. Nope, I have to keep providing back stick to get it to stay put. This drone is uh, certified according to specs to 29 miles per hour. So the 24, when the wind is constant, it's fine. But those gusts, it pushed it out there. But that 29 miles per hour is only for sport mode, not for regular mode. Regular mode is less. Uh, so in sport mode, it's using the optical sensors right now on the base to hit the ground, and it keeps it centered. And the second here, as soon as it loses those optical sensors, or we go above the speed, it's gonna start drifting there. And you can see it slowly start to drift. And if I go up a little bit here, so the optical sensors are no longer in effect. Let's go a little bit higher until we get it to catch. There we go, a little more. And now it's drifting out that way. Um, so not a ton, which isn't bad. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring it back down here and I'm gonna do some basic flying to kind of show you that, you know, obviously you can see right now from the, the video that the gimbal is nice and smooth, no issues. Oh, hey, and if you are finding this video interesting or useful or entertaining or just something, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there. It really helps out this video and the channel quite a bit. Hopefully not get hit by any waves. There we go, that's a cool one right there. Uh, now it's definitely struggling a bit. I'm having to go full stick forward in order to make this work. Uh, so I'm full stick forward, still in PMO, so I haven't had to go to sport mode. We'll click it over to sport mode again though and go over the waves just because it's that kind of day. And you can see it's, it's not moving very fast, about seven, eight kilometers an hour. But despite these winds, it's still fine. Like I'm not having an issue. And that's the real key here. I'm not trying to go very far. I'm not trying to get back from somewhere very far away. So for example, if we look down this direction, all the way down there, you'll see there's a green uh, end of pier pillar all the way at the very, very end down there. That's about a thousand meters away, I believe. Uh, I know that if I were to try to go down there and go around that and come back, I wouldn't be able to make it back. Uh, there just simply isn't enough battery on this to go with that slower speed of that eight kilometers an hour or so all the way back. Uh, so now flipping this around here, Again, in sport mode, we'll just kind of go with the wind. We'll go nice and low, we'll kind of have some fun here across this. I think that's about right. Yep, and we'll just bring a full speed across. There we go, so cruising at uh, 45 kilometers an hour, looping back. Now my goal here isn't to go too far away from the pier because again, I want to be able to get back. Uh, you can see how slow it is right now, getting back to the pier. Bring up gimbal a little bit more. In fact, it's really kind of struggling getting back to the pier. I'm going full speed ahead. I'm going at 1.5 kilometers an hour in sport mode. So just not there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit higher and see if we can find a little better wind. I think coming off the burn might be a bit slow. It's not quite working. So I'm gonna go against the wind this way now. Bring it back, here we go. So this way I'm kind of using the wind to my advantage, but it's still struggling a bit. So I'm gonna go this way, kind of gonna circle myself around here. There we go. And we're gonna go and cross the wind now back towards me. Uh, that's really the only way you can make this work. I can't go straight into the wind because now the wind's higher than the maximum speed that the aircraft's let me do, um, but I can go cross the wind. I can see right now I am full stick forward and it's staying exactly where I want it to um, over the pier. But the second I let go of the stick back, it starts to drift back a bit. Uh, so not, not ideal wind-wise, but the fact is that it's still, it's still working, which is what's cool here. Uh, so. 
Stability of the video, you saw no problems at all. If I look at the gimbal, let me just get this in a stable position back here closer to the pier. If I look at the gimbal, so I'm just gonna go straight down to the waves here, keeping it over there, so we'll go down gimbal. And you can see I can point it down, no issues. Like it's nice and smooth footage. From a footage standpoint, I'm spot on. Uh, I'm kind of wrestling with the aircraft's position, of course, but from a footage perspective, yeah, it looks pretty clean here. And that looks really nice, just right over the top of the waves, crashing against the rocks, no problems at all. So now comes the fun part, landing. Uh, now, landing, I wouldn't do this on the ground uh, because ultimately I think that's gonna be kind of tough. So here we go, the camera lens is cleaned. Uh, again, super smooth footage right now, no issues with that at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. Uh, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a hand landing. Uh, so I'm gonna bring it in nice and smooth. Here we go. And you can see it's struggling a little bit, no problem. If I were to try to land this right now, it's likely gonna happen, it's gonna catch the props on the ground. It won't kill the aircraft, but I'll have to buy new props and I don't feel like doing that. So I'm just gonna simply reach underneath here like this and then turn it over and it's done. As simple as that. Okay, with that, I think I've shown that the Mavic Mini can withstand these sort of winds is again, upwards of 50 kilometers, over 50 kilometer an hour gust out here. Uh, no real problems. Uh, I just wouldn't make a habit of doing this. Uh, if you did find this video interesting, please whack that like button in the bottom there. It really helps out this video and the channel quite a bit. Or hit subscribe for more sports technology goodness. I'm looking forward to taking out the Skydio 2 out here along this and doing actual tracking in addition to the crazy winds. And so next windy day I get, we're gonna do that and have a bit of fun there on the bike, full send, should be good times. Have a good one.